Hey, what's up everybody? Fatigue Beast. Um, I'm recording this video on my webcam because I'm too lazy to go and get my actual camera. Um, but I wanted to let everybody know. Um, everybody has already known that I'm a personal trainer and I've been certified since um, 2017. Um, but I've been taking clients since like 2015, 2014, I think is the earliest I remember. Um, just because, you know, I had to make money and I had to do what I had to do. Um, but I decided, you know, to become a personal trainer to, for liability reasons and as well as just to have that certification under my belt. Um, but it did take me a while to do my second certification. Um, I just, I did one last year, but I, did, I failed it, which was um, uh, a strength coach certification. Um, but, you know, being a strength coach really wasn't what I wanted to do. Um, I just did it just because I thought it would be a good certification to put under my belt. And it just... I had a year to, to pass it, but I studied it and studied it and studied it and just, I don't know, it really wasn't what I wanted to do, so I didn't really, I don't think I put much effort as I thought I would into it, which was probably why I didn't pass. Plus, I was also doing CompTIA Plus and studying that um, at the same time, which I think was a mistake, and I should have done either or first, you know, did CompTIA first and then strength coach, or did strength coach first and did um comp to you um, but i did both at the same time and failed both exams so this year i decided to do uh, precision nutrition become a nutrition coach um it's called pn level one you know certified nutrition coach um and did that this year and i actually passed it in five days as soon as i got the books which is right here um, I have the workbook and then, let's see, book one, two, and three. Book one would be the precision nutrition approach to the science of nutrition. And three, the working through the precision uh, PN coaching process, which is probably the most important part. Um, yeah, I did about anywhere from three to f six chapters in a day. And it's 20 chapters overall. Um I read them. I did all the online material, um, did every all all the case studies, and then did the exam. Um, overall, I got a 90, 97 percent total of all two hundred questions on the exam. So each chapter has ten questions you answer um, at the end of the chapter, and then once you finish the exam at the end of the chapter, you go into the next chapter, and then you finish the exam on that chapter, you go into the next chapter. So there's not really a big final exam at the end of the. Of precision nutrition certification um, but all the questions for each 10 question exam add up by the end to 200 questions and you have to get at least 150 correct um, to, to get the certification um, and yeah it took me took me five days um, that does not say it's easy it was actually very difficult um, a lot I literally was having I had a lot of coffee <laughs> Um, getting up early in the morning around 6, 7 a.m. and then not going to bed until around midnight, um, sometimes 1 a.m., go right to bed or take a shower, go right to bed and then get right back up and try to finish it. And the only reason why I was doing it that fast was because um, I needed it for a job. Um, and unfortunately, the job didn't fall through. They didn't hire me. Um, so I don't, I don't want to say I got this for nothing. I, I did get it. I mean, I'm obviously got my own weight loss journey 160 pounds so this is actually a good thing to put under my belt as well as to become a nutrition coach so overall review of it i absolutely loved it to be honest um i i really loved i think i think the probably the second book the whole nutrition approach learning more so about nutrition and what i really liked about it is they really went into depth of that there's no one size fits all with nutrition and which is very true and it also kind of plays into fitness as well because there's no one size fits all when it comes to squat form there's no one size fits all when it comes to overall fitness and what you should do and how you should program your clients um they also teach that with nutrition um so they're not like pro keto or pro vegan or pro normal dieting or pro intermittent fasting pro paleo they're actually pro everything um whatever fits your client is going to help them succeed is what they're for teaching them how to um, measure out their food um 
by using just your hand, you know, doing um, a fist, which is your veggie size, thumb, which is your fat size, palm, which is your protein size, and a cup of your a handful, which is uh, your carbohydrate size, and telling you how much you should eat in a day, how to track it, um, how to teach your clients to not get into an eating disorder, you know, when you, when you take them on as your client. So there's a lot of science in, in the um, overall nutrition school for precision nutrition and I loved it I really liked it um, I'm actually glad I did this one I was very indecisive of what nutrition school to go to I didn't know if I wanted to do uh, what was it called the National Institute of Nutrition or something like that or precision nutrition or NASM's nutrition certification or ACE's nutrition certification um, I really did not know what to do. Or NCSF, which is the personal training school that I'm certified through. They have a nutrition one as well. Um, but I decided to do precision nutrition because my last job back in July before I quit, um, one of my coworkers told me how good precision nutrition was. Um, and they're also one of the most sought after nutrition certifications when it comes to um, being employed by other places uh, fitness wise. So. That is mainly the reason why I got it. And then, of course, I looked on the website. I checked out the reviews on YouTube. Um, and they weren't lying. They were, they were really, it's a really good course. I really enjoyed it. And I'm happy that I actually did it. Um, this is also, it's a big step forward for me, too. Um, because this is probably the... the it was a hard course, but it was probably the fastest I've ever finished anything school-wise in my life compared to middle school, high school, college. I finished this very fast and with a very high score, and I'm very pleased with myself, and I do deserve to give myself a pat on the back because um, that it, it's a hard course. It's really hard. Um, for me, it was hard, um, but I, I did it. I finished it five days. So I, I'm very proud of myself. So before I go more on a t in a tangent, do I recommend this uh, school? Um, hell yeah, I do. Um, excuse my language, but yeah, definitely recommend precision, uh, precision nutrition. Hope that helps. Um, sorry, this isn't like a professional video, like I you know like I usually do. But I just moved into an apartment back in August, and I'm still not really moved in yet. Um, I'm just moving in very slowly, trying to get back into making videos. Um, so yeah. I love a piece of chicken grease. I haven't said that in like 10 years. Later.